Welcome to this tutorial on AWS X-Ray. AWS X-Ray is a distributed tracing service. It helps you analyze and debug your applications, especially when they are microservices based or serverless. So, how does it work? X-Ray traces requests as they travel through your application. It collects data from each service or component the request touches. Then, it visualizes this flow in a service map, showing dependencies and performance bottlenecks. X-Ray also records traces and segments, capturing details like request duration, errors or exceptions, latency per component, backend service calls, like to DynamoDB or SNS. This allows you to pinpoint slow services, track down failures, and understand user impact. Now, what are the key use cases? Troubleshooting. Find out why your app is slow or returning errors. Performance monitoring. Identify bottlenecks across services. Visualizing dependencies. See how all parts of your app are connected. Analyzing trends. Monitor latency, fault rates, and throughput over time. X-Ray works great with ECS, Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, and many AWS services. For example, you can enable AWS X-Ray tracing for AWS Lambda functions without writing any code. This is done by simply modifying the Lambda functions configuration in the AWS Management Console or using the AWS CLI. You can also integrate it with your own custom code using the AWS SDKs. In short, X-Ray gives you deep insight into what's happening under the hood, across every request, every service. Let's dive deeper in the next steps to see how to set up and explore AWS X-Ray for tracing your distributed applications. We'll use a demo app deployed with CloudFormation and explore traces inside the CloudWatch console. Let's type X-Ray in the search bar and go to the X-Ray console. X-Ray is now integrated here in CloudWatch. On the left sidebar, click on Traces Map under X-Ray. Right now, it looks empty. Let's generate some data. Open the CloudFormation service. Click Create Stack, then choose Choose an existing template, which is the default option. The other option, Build from Infrastructure Composer you choose when you create a template using a Visual Builder. Next we need to specify template. Here are three options. You can use provide an Amazon S3 URL to your template. Or, upload a template file or sync a template from your Git repository. Choose upload a template file. Upload the CloudFormation template file. I got this file by cloning the AWS sample application for X-Ray called Scorekeep using Git. Click Next. Set the stack name to Scorekeep X-Ray Demo. Scroll down and use all defaults as this is just for tutorial. Click Next. Now we are on Configure Stack Options. Here all defaults are OK. Acknowledge and click Next. Review and Submit. Now stack creation is in progress. Wait for the stack to deploy fully. It might take a few minutes for the stack to finish creating. I'll go ahead and pause the video here and resume once the stack is ready. Now the stack has been created. Go to the Outputs tab. Copy the Load Balancer URL and open it in a new tab. You'll see the Scorekeep app interface. Leave the session field as is. Click Create. Name it something like Test Game. Set rules to Tic-Tac-Toe and click Create. Now click Play and start the game. This will trigger trace data to flow into X-Ray. Click on View Service Map. Return to the CloudWatch Console X-Ray Service Map. Zoom out to see the full map. You'll see icons for ECS container for the application, DynamoDB tables related to the application and SNS topic. Click any node to see details. For example, if I click on ECS container, it displays metrics such as latency, requests per second, and faults. Click on alerts tab to see alerts. We can click on the other nodes and can view performance details about them. Now click on View Traces for this game to open the Traces console. Click on Run Query to load existing trace data. You might see traces. To narrow things down, use filters. Click a specific trace to explore it. You'll see a trace map showing involved services. A breakdown of all API calls and their duration. Scroll down to see event by event logs. You'll see which DynamoDB table was accessed, how long it took, and more. Click on individual segments of the trace for even more info. 
This is very helpful when debugging distributed systems. If you had CloudWatch logs enabled, you'd also see logs tied to each trace. Once you're done, delete the CloudFormation stack to avoid ongoing charges. That's it. You've now learned how to use AWS X-Ray, deploy a demo app, generate trace data, and analyze performance. Use X-Ray to trace requests across microservices, identify latency, and troubleshoot errors easily.